Okay, this video deals with graphing ellipses, circles, and hyperbolas. Um, this particular question is about graphing ellipses, but circles and hyperbolas work in a very similar fashion. Um, so this question was actually question number 49 on a an actual SAT Math Level 2 subject test. Um, only 24% of students in the nation got it correct. And we're going to see how you can get it correct without doing any math at all um, using your TA-89 calculator. Um, so it says, what is the length of the major axes of the ellipse whose equation is 60x squared plus 30y squared plus 150? Um, now, normally, we would have to complete the square and do a bunch of math here. But because we have our calculator, we don't need to do that. I'm just going to clear this and go back to our y equals. Um, actually, we're going to start by just getting this equation into the form y equals, uh, and that way uh, we can graph it much easier. Um, so we're going to use solver to get it into y equals. So we'll put in solve, and we'll type in 60x squared plus 30y squared. equals 150 and we're going to put in comma y because we're solving for y and it gets us in this form it says y equals negative 5 minus 2x squared um, that's uh, don't worry about this part where it says uh, when x when 2x squared minus 5 is uh, less than 0 um, that's just involving the radicand. So, uh, and the other one is that y equals five minus two five minus two x squared. So we have um, essentially we found out what we can put into y one and y two, um, which is what we can put in here uh, into y one. We can put in our first solution uh, rad five minus two x squared and y two negative five minus two x squared. In reality, uh, it's plus or minus rad five minus two x squared, but the calculator can't understand that, so we have to plug in one at a time. So in y one, we're just gonna plug in radical five minus two x squared. And in y two, we're gonna put in the negative of that radical. Negative. Um, negative radical 5 minus 2x squared. And we're going to close that parenthesis. And now we can graph it. And before we graph it, we're just going to set our window to, um, uh, we're going to set our window to zoom standard. But uh, actually, let's, let's graph it first. Um, and then after we do that, we will go to zoom and we'll go to zoom standard. So here is what the graph looks like. It takes a while for it to graph. This could be more a function of, uh, of, of the emulator program I have. Um, and now we will hit F2 to go to zoom. And I'm sorry, we're not going to go to zoom standard. We're going to go to zoom squared, which is the fifth choice down here. And zoom squared will allow us to have equal pixel lengths for the x-axis and y-axis. Um, so we can see uh, which is the vertical axis, whether it's, um, the, uh, whether it's an up and down ellipse or a, a vertical or horizontal ellipse. We can see here that the vertical axis is longer than the horizontal, but we will also um, zoom in here just to get an even better view of this. So let's zoom in with a new standard new center rather and we'll zoom in here and this is a much better view for us so we look here and the major ellipse uh, would definitely be the vertical ellipse which runs from here to here so we just need that distance um, and in order to do that, all we have to do is trace. And we know that the x-coordinate, because this is centered at 0, the x-coordinate uh, being 0 will be the highest y-value. Um, so it's actually already on that point, but if we retype in again, 0, enter, we'll see that at 0, uh, the y-coordinate is 2.23. Um, similarly, uh, also at 0 down here, um, the y-coordinate will be negative 2.23 because um, the ellipse, uh, all ellipses are symmetrical. So, therefore, the total length of the major axis of this, of this ellipse would be 
twice the size of uh, 2.23. So it would be 4.46. Um, and as you can see, um, we just solved this question without having to do any math at all, and it's one of the hardest questions um, on the math uh, SAT level two SAT level two subject test.